Oh no! I'm taking y'all back. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. We got some fat back in the instant pot here. I've got it on the saute setting. We're just gonna fry this up a little bit and then we're gonna add in some dried Great Northern beans and some water and then approximately two to three hours. They'll be done in like almost two hours, but all the rest of the food won't be done for about probably three hours. We'll have some wonderful beans. A lot of times I fry my fat back up on the stove top, especially if I'm gonna cook the beans in the slow cooker. You don't have to fry the fat back up though. You can just put it in as it is. I just like to do it this way. Since I'm making them in the Instant Pot today, I decided just to do it all in here. We've got these dried Great Northern beans. I'm gonna dump them in here and rinse them. One of y'all asked the last time I made beans, do I rinse them? Yes, because I have found rocks in my beans. I know a lot of people have never found any rocks. I have probably, I mean, over the past 20 years, not many, maybe eight times, but I just always rinse them just in case you have that bag that could possibly have a rock. I just kind of look through them at first. I think I've shown y'all once or twice when I did have a rock. A couple of people also asked about soaking them. I never pre-soak them when I do them in the Instant Pot. Now, if I'm cooking them on the stove top or if I cook them in the slow cooker, I do the quick soak method. Some people don't, so you don't have to But when you're doing the slow cooker. But I just do the quick soak where you bring them to a boil, let them boil for just maybe a couple of minutes, and then I turn it off remove them from the heat, and then they just sit in that water for an hour before I start cooking them. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so these beans will be done by four, but like I said, everything else, it'll probably be five or 5.30 before I get everything else done. This was two pounds of Great Northern beans, so I'm gonna put in about 10 cups of water. Cover them, seal them, and we're gonna pressure cook. I'm gonna go for 50 minutes. When I do two pounds, I go about 50 minutes. Or you know what, I think I went 60 last time. We'll just go ahead and go with an hour for two pounds because we like the beans to get really soft. What rock style? Rock style? Oh, you mean skipping stones? No. Throw it then. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's go try the big one. Woo, that's a good style you got there. <laughs> We're now back to you don't need a coat. Manly wanted to wear his coat, but you don't need one out here today. I mean, it's not hot, but definitely not what it was yesterday or the day before when it was snowing. Hello, girls. We have three eggs again. That's becoming their number. I'm not sure if it's the same three laying every day. Yeah, I hope that. Be very careful. They're very valuable now. <laughs> yeah, she did lose another feather, didn't she? There's quackers. That's what we're calling the black duck, quackers. And the white duck, they named it banana. Baby banana and quackers. quackers. Let's go get them some feed. Let's go get them some feed. Good job. Oh no, she did mess up the feeder. What are we gonna do? She did mess this one up. You know what? Okay, so this is a hanging feeder. You can hang it or sit it. Here she comes, look at her. Acting all innocent. <laughs> so you can hang it, and I'm thinking that that's what we're gonna have to do because she doesn't mean to. Look at her. She didn't mean to do it. How did she even do that? I don't know. I'm answering myself. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I fixed it back. She just messed up the handle and popped one of these things out. We're gonna move this uh, pen out before spring gets here because we're gonna get at least 10 more chicks to add to the flock and maybe a turkey friend for Miss Turkey. I also really want a peacock. Tractor Supply had peacock chicks. Are they called chicks? Peacock babies? Anyway, they had some last time, but we didn't get one. I'm totally getting one if they have them this time. <laughs> He's saying thank you, Manly. You're welcome. <laughs> These lock lid feed buckets came from Tractor Supply. I was telling y'all about them the other day. They keep raccoons and you know different things like that from getting into the feed. We tried the 10 feed containers. They just pop open those lids and go right in, especially raccoons. We also used the other ones that didn't have the locking lids. They just you know snapped on. They get into those too. But so far they can't get into these locking ones.
Jonah said he's gonna take us on a little adventure walk. I'm not sure that bridge can hold me. It's just kind of <laughs> Oh, another bridge. Hang on, Manny, I'll hold your hand over this one. Thanks. You're welcome. Nice and easy, yay! It's like not even a foot to the bottom, but still. <laughs> we made it, we made it back to the house. We made it. There's the bottom of our tree for next year's ornaments. We'll just put it in the garage and let it dry out all the way. Since this is a smaller one, Titus will just cut them at a slant when we get ready to do the ornaments. All right, y'all, we are back inside. Change of plans on the cornbread. We're gonna do biscuits instead, and I think fried potatoes instead of mashed potatoes. And some fried hot dogs. This used to be one of my favorite meals when I was a kid. My mama would cut the hot dogs in half, Fry them up and we'd have them with beans, fried potatoes, and biscuits. So good. I got these marked down at Ingalls the other day. I also got this Johnsonville sausage strips. Do y'all remember us talking about this a long time ago? So it's sausage, but it's in strips, like bacon. We're gonna be making this in the morning. But tonight, I'm taking y'all back to the 1990s. One of my favorite meals. Um, these have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per, yeah, we'll need both packs, okay. Y'all don't want y'all to see his tower. That is great. He's my kitchen helper tonight. Yeah, can you get me the butter out? Yeah. It's in that bowl in the drawer in there. First, we're gonna get the biscuits in the oven. Then I'll start peeling the potatoes. We need two cups of self-rising flour. I wonder if I should just go ahead and make, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make extra biscuits. That way, I'll already have biscuits ready for tomorrow morning with our sausage strips. <laughs> can you give me the buttermilk? It's in the cup with the white lid. Okay, we're gonna start with about two cups here. fried potatoes here, then I'll do the hot dogs. They don't take long. Now, my mama always used McEvers hot dogs, the ones that are kind of, they're kind of red. Like, if you've seen McEvers hot dogs, you know what I'm talking about. They're kind of red. They're really good. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch to my big pan. That'll be better. Then I can do the hot dogs in here after I get finished with the potatoes. potatoes over here. The ones that are done, I'm putting a little bit of salt and pepper on. When these get done, we'll fry up the hot dogs and that's it. Well, I mean, I still have this whole bowl of taters to do here, so it's gonna take a minute. I will go ahead and start cutting these in half. We just slice them in half long ways. I already got the onion out to have with the beans and I'm gonna slice the tomato too. I used to make this a lot too when Jacob and Tyler were little. 